Hi, I'm Patrick Mannion with um, TechWire International, and I'm here at Sensors Expo 2019, and I'm joined by Bengt Edlund. Hi, Bengt, how are Hi. you? Hi, Bengt Edlund, <laughs> from the unknown. <laughs> now, we're going to see something really interesting here. So, what looks like an empty space is actually a 3D projection. So, you can touch, Bengt will show how to use it. So, you're actually touching nothing, but it's, but it's, but it's reacting accordingly. 3D. Go ahead, do it again. ATM machine, maybe. ATM machine. So you can change the screen interaction, right? Yep. So it's seven. You just gave six, away eight. your card now, right? Or <laughs> <laughs> so you can interact with this one. Okay, so. And you know, you decide. Actually, the uh, disposal machine right now, actually, the uh, mon money disposing you know, machine is right. <laughs> broken right now. <laughs> so you can't get any money. So, so the question is so, how do you project that image onto a 3D space? Yeah, so what we do is we build actually a module that. Oops. We can throw away its solid state, right? So it actually right. will break. But actually, it contains, Smaller in this one, case, yeah. uh, 20, 24 lasers. Okay. Small lasers, Vixel, the same as you would have in your mobile phone for right. face recognition. We bond them to the substrate, and then we have photodyes in between the lasers. We generate an infrared light field that is roughly two millimeters thick uh, over this type of space. So anything coming in here will bounce back light into the optical system, and we can tell how many objects, one, two, three, four, five, what size they have, and actually where are they located, X, Y. Okay. So we okay. report that from a USB or I2C as a hidden profile over a USB, so right. it comes up as a digitizer for Windows, for example, or Android. How much power does it take? Is it, is it a low power, high power? Uh, this is low power. Roughly? I think this one, full full action, you know, when you have touch objects in it, it consumes 146 milliwatt. With how many? 146 emitters? milliwatt. No, how, with, with, with how many emitters? Uh, that's actually full speed, everything full speed, full speed yeah. So but, once but, but, you, but, you, but, uh, no. but this size or that size? Uh, that size is probably one quarter of that power. One quarter, okay, roughly, okay. All right. So uh, it's very you know, easy. You get touch on a subject, you can get touch in the air, you can get touch on metal, you can touch on wood, skin, or whatever you really want to have. What's the range, roughly? The range is equal to the length of this one. So you pick one which has like this one, it's going to be a range like that. I see. This okay. one will have that range. Proportion to the, yeah. the length, okay. Proportion. All right. So then, so how does this work then? I know there's a, a second yeah. secret to this one, right? So in this case, we have embedded the uh, the, case, the uh, sensor, uh, touch yeah. sensor, actually underneath the plastic here. Okay. So we're shooting through the plastic and detecting then the fingers as they approach uh, into that light field and yeah. generate then a, a normal HID type of uh, signal to the window system. So it activates just like it would be a touch screen. But how is the image projected into space? Okay, that's a secret of our Japanese uh, friends, Asukanet, uh, in Tokyo. They create actually a sheet of plastic that contains a lot of small mirrors. Okay. And what it does, it takes a normal display, which is embedded here, uh, and actually, you know, flips that uh, 45 degrees first, and then 45 degrees in the second one. So you have a 90 degrees angle to the original display, uh, projecting there. Can you flip the screen off? Take a look inside. Uh, we can probably do that if I can, you know, probably use this one. Oops. There we Got go. It. Okay. So you can see inside ah. is a normal, Typical normal display any, inside, any type right? of display. Okay. But then and the screen itself. The, the sheet, which is the magic, right, piece. So that takes the projected light from the display, normal from display. the display and flips it up in the air and makes it holographic. Converges the light at certain points in space yeah. using internal yeah, measures. To, yeah, focus right, it okay. to, uh, to a given point in space. Very interesting, okay. And then your, and then your job then is to, with the tell where the finger is in relationship to these buttons, so we activate them. What's the technology called? We call it C-Force, uh, C-Force Air. C-Force Air, Neodyne, okay. Kind of. okay, and the company's Neodyne? Neodyne. Neonode, right, Neonode. okay. Yeah. Very cool, okay, thanks for your time, thanks. Thank we you. appreciate it, okay. Thank you.